Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's One Piece Treasure Cruise video I will be talking about the new support Sugofest and the 4 new support characters that are available in it. Of course there are more supports available, not only just 4, but these are the new ones so I want to focus on them. Let's get this away from the start. This Sugofest is decent, especially the first two steps, there is a lot of value in them, especially if you are not pulling in support Sugofests often. But at the same time, the French anniversary is very close, we are expecting the French anniversary to come at the end of July, and who knows what is coming there, right? I did a speculations and predictions video, you can check it out if you want to. But this Sugofest arrived today and we leave on August 17th. It will be active for more than a month. There is absolutely no reason for you to be impatient, get baited and possibly waste 80 gems here or more that you could spend during the French Anniversary Sugofest. With that out of the way, let's talk about the new characters and the Sugofest. The steps go as follows. The first multi costs 30 gems and guarantees you a support rare recruit, which is very nice. The second multi guarantees one of the four new characters, which can be pretty good depending of course on which one of the four units you get. The third multi is 50 gems with no specific step and that's why I'm calling the first two steps great in value, but from now onwards the value definitely drops. The fourth multi is one gem, the fifth multi is nothing once again and then the multis start repeating, so not really worth it to go over them. But the first two multis in my opinion can be very worth it depending on if you have pulled in support Sugofests and of course depending on how many gems you have. What are the four new characters though? What do they do as far as supports go? Of course we are not going to talk about captain abilities and special abilities because they don't really matter. The supports is what these units are made for and that is exactly what we are going to take a look at. The first unit is Mr. One and Miss Doublefinger. They can be attached to Nico Robin, Mr. Two, Bon Clay and Sir Crocodile or Mr. Zero. From the get-go we can see that you can attach this unit to some very good ones. Nico Robin has some very nice utility units like Summer Sai Robin for example and even Treasure Map or Obi. Then we have Mr. Two Bon Clay with not a lot of units in the game unfortunately but in the future he might get a legend, so that's good. And of course we also have Crocodile who has a lot of units that do many different things and some of them are very decent. At level 5 the support effect goes as follows. Once per quest, if the supported character uses a special, reduces all enemies damage reduction except threshold for 4 turns, reduces paralysis by 4 turns, and boosts the chain multiplier by 0.7 for one turn. This support is amazing, a very good support, it's like we are reading a special inside the support ability. Removing damage reduction is awesome, especially for 4 turns because I don't think there is another support in the game that does that. Paralysis, also very good, one of the most common debuffs in the game. And on top of that, they also give you a chain boost. This unit with Summer Robin, you can remove 9 turns of a percent damage reduction shield, you can remove 5 turns of defense up, 5 turns of threshold, have orb manipulation and also get a chain boost and remove paralysis. I wouldn't say this support is amazingly broken, just because most of the enemies tend to have 5 turns of a damage reduction shield and then that means you are going to use another support or a special to remove the rest of the damage reduction but getting also 4 turns of paralysis and the chain boost is very very good, no doubt about it. If you get Mr. One and Miss Doublefinger in 2 multis for 80 gems, a very good deal but unfortunately they are not guaranteed. We also have 3 more new supports so let's check them out. The following new unit is Mr. Three with Miss Golden Week. They support Driven and Free Spirit characters. At maximum level, their support goes as follows. At the start of Battle 3, meaning stage number 3, reduces supported characters special charge time by 2 turns, changes supported characters slot to character zone type, and halves damage taken for 3 turns, meaning you get a 50% damage reduction. 
This is a decent support, definitely not at the same level as the previous one, but it can be helpful especially in arena content, in my opinion. First of all, if you get special rewind, you can give a character the special back and you also get a matching slot, which is always a plus. Finally, they give you a 50% damage reduction shield, something that might help you stall. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna say that this support is incredible or anything, it can be useful, but you are not going to be using them all the time. They provide something nice, but at the same time something not necessary for the majority of content in the game. The next unit is Mr. 4 and Miss Merry Christmas. This unit supports Q and powerhouse characters like for example the new versus Akainu. At maximum level their support goes as follows. Once per quest, if the supported character uses a special to boost slot effects, exactly like versus Akainu, cancels attack reducing slot effects for one turn, meaning block slots or unfavorable slots, it reduces cruise bind duration by two turns, and boosts the type effects of normal attacks for Q and powerhouse characters by 1.5 times for one turn. Now that is pretty strong. Paired up with Versus Akainu, this can be an amazing support to boost your damage and Versus Akainu already does so many things that if you have a support that also helps your damage more and gives you some utility, then you can definitely have more flexibility when building your team. The Color Affinity might be the best part of the support. I think that two turns of bind is always great. On top of sockets, you in total get five turns of removal maybe even completely removing bind in some specific quests, making the block slots and unfavorable slots essentially neutral is not incredible but definitely something unique in the game. A negative about this support is that it is limited on what units you can use it on. Of course we have versus Akainu but you need your unit to be a Q1, a powerhouse one and to also give you an orb boost, because if you do not get an orb boost from the special, then the support won't activate, even if the unit is a Q powerhouse one. The next and final support will be Mr. 5 and Miss Valentine, and they can be attached to strength and shooter characters. Like we had a support for Versus Akainu essentially before, now we have one for Versus Ace. At maximum level, their support goes as follows. Once per quest, if supported character uses a special to change slots, locks cruise slots for one turn, reduces despair by two turns, and boosts strength and shooter character's attack by 1.75 for one turn. Two turns of despair is decent, and the attack is also very nice at 1.75, but then you have to meet three requirements. A shooter unit, a strength unit that also manipulates slots with its special. A great combination with Versus Ace, but there are not a lot of units in the game that meet these three requirements, so the use of this support will definitely be limited. To sum it up, should you pull in this Sugofest? First of all, you should wait for the French Anniversary news, but after that, if you have Ace versus Akainu, there is a very good chance you get a very nice support for them, but if you don't, then you can either have Mr. One with Miss Doublefinger, an exceptional support, but you can also get one of the other ones for Ace vs Akainu or Mr. 3 and Miss Golden Week. Not an exceptional support itself. Of course, it also depends on your box and what supports you already have. But that's it for me and this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and it helped out. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more One Piece Treasure Cruise content. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.